I'm back with more clips from mini camp, and today we're going to be looking at Will Levis, toss some heaters in camp. Storylines coming out said that he was starting off slow, but picked it up a little bit towards the end of camp, started to look a little bit better. We're going to watch him progress during training camp. Things are more in depth in training camp than mini camp. Mini camp is just greasing the wheels, doing drills. Training camp, you get more one versus ones, you get more team drills, you get more action, the pads come on. So when that happens, we see more. That being said, you may want to hit that subscribe button right now. I'm going to have clips of your favorite players all offseason long. And when things heat up in training camp, you're going to want to see vids of your favorite rookies, your favorite veterans, guys on your favorite team, and whatever else you're interested in, especially what's going to help you with fantasy football so you can see what your favorite players are doing. But let's dig into Will Levis. Let's see what he's doing here. Let's see what he's been up to in these practices. Here we're starting off throwing into some nets, some footwork drills with the bags, throwing balls at him, working on the feet, hitting the net right there. Again, more balls being thrown at him, slinging more rock, stepping back, moving around the pocket, working on that mobility, back, 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 Mo throwing on the move a little bit. Some tosses, getting things out quick. Working on the footwork a little bit, and then trying to keep everything in line for the throw. Good little liner there. Working really hard on the footwork. Working really hard on that. Him and Malik Willis. Just working hard on it. I get their names mixed up a lot because of Will Levis. Malik Willis is just tongue twister to me. But working the pads, working in and out with the footwork. Stuff to see there. Working on the mechanics. Working on the basics, really. Getting ready for end season. Like I said, it's greasing the wheels. You're not going to see many huge highlight catches with competition. You're not going to have that with the pads on here in minicamp. You're going to have stuff like this, the drills. But it's also cool to see what your NFL players are doing, how they do it, and all that stuff. And each team's different, too. They do it differently. Their quarterbacks are doing different stuff. Some guys are going through gauntlets. Other guys are doing stuff like this. Other guys are just lined up in teams and wide receivers are running routes and they're hitting them. They're probably doing that too, but here's just drills they're doing. Just some drills they're doing. Working with the quarterbacks. See a little Tannehill. See Malik Willis. And, of course, Will Levis slinging the rock. Slinging rock like like I said earlier, what they reported was things start off a little rocky and then he got better over time. And I think about this, you're just getting used to things. It's mini camp. We're going to really see what things are about with him once we get to training camp. That's when everything will show. You're going to hear a lot of good things from a lot of players from a lot of different teams right now. You're going to hear that. I'm going to tell you that much. Because look at the drills we're doing. Go look at the other videos. Go look at the drills they're doing. You're going to see mostly or hear mostly good things from the reports because there's not many opportunities to do bad. That's the thing about it. And if you're doing bad, that means you're doing really bad because look at what we're doing here. He's looking good. There's, I'm not talking about Levis. I'm talking about in general, but he's looking all right here. But in general, when you hear these reports about these players doing good, it means right now they're doing good, but look at what they're doing. There's not much opportunity for them to do bad. We're going to see more in training camp. That is when things heat up. But you still need to monitor these clips because you want to see which players are healthy. You want to see how they're progressing, progressing from year to year, play to play, month to month. You want to see that. You want to see what these rookies are looking at for sure, how they look like. And then also when we get to training camp, those are bigger because you're going to get team versus team action, defense versus offense and the drills them being physical with each other, especially the offensive line, some tackling. You're going to get the pods, pads popping a little bit. You're going to get one versus ones, wide receivers versus DBs. Those get heated a little bit. You're going to get some training camp fights. You're going to have the quarterbacks. They're going to need to make some decisions because they're going to be actually going through plays with the defense there, making some reads, even though it's a little bit vanilla because they kind of know what's going on a little bit, a little bit different than game action. You're going to have all that. I'm going to have those clips for you like we did last year, probably a little bit more because I know what's coming up. I know I got the schedules. I look those up. I, I, I'm looking up everything so I'm more prepared. 
But looking at stuff like this for Will Levis, when you're looking at him do the drills, he looks good there. He looks good. Not many throws off. Not many throws off. When things really heat up, when you know when things are right with these players is in training camp. I'm talking mini camp, talking off the cuff here, but I'm just letting you know. He's looking good, though. He's looking good. The feet, footwork's working. You know he's concentrating hard with the feet. I can kind of get a feel of that. And the reason why I got a feel of that is because I've been going through these highlights of these players for a couple of years now. I've been going through that with high school. I've been going through that with that, watching players. And I just kind of get a feel like some of those, he's really concentrating and make sure his feet is right, which is good on two avenues. One, he's not 100% there yet, which... We all know that, or he would have been drafted in the top 10. Two, he is working hard. He's making sure his reps are right. He's trying to make sure his reps are right. He's trying his best. He's really trying to develop. He's putting his head into it. He's thinking things through. Does that always mean it's going to work over time? We don't know. Doesn't always does, but sometimes it do. But you know he's putting his best foot forward. That's how I feel, though. That is arbitrary off what I'm seeing off of him from just watching him. He's working really hard trying to keep that footwork together and then really keeping those mechanics in line. And you can see that with the bags. You can see that with the feet. Not perfect. I mean, he's not blessed with it. He's not blessed. He's not one of those quarterbacks, but he's doing his best. Got that arm talent, though. Just a flick of the wrist, and that ball is going out there. That's the thing about him. If you keep everything else in line, keep the mechanics in line, especially when pressured, that might help him out a ton. If you can just keep everything together when pressured, when things are on the line, it's easier doing drills and all that. But this dude can sling it. He's got a cannon. And you know what? If things go together, if he develops, if he gets that much better every time, you might have something here. He's a quarterback to watch. We're going to see some more in training camp. We're going to see how he's doing mentally, picking up the game, picking things up with your mechanics, getting better. It's all things we got to see here with Will Levis. We got a little bit of time for development. It's also not a league where we wait and develop forever to either. So you got to pick things up. You got to ramp up that development. When they say you're a developmental prospect, you only got X amount of time. And it's not as long as what you wished it would be. So you really got to jump the gun on your development, really put in the work and just go all out this is your moment right now but that's will levis that's what we're thinking about him i want to hear what you're thinking about him talk about that in the comments below make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out because i'm gonna have more clips training camp's gonna ramp up I got more vids for fantasy at it coming to you soon to help you out with redraft dynasty devi maybe a little campus can't action maybe i'll throw that in there soon i got a lot for you i got a lot for you everything coming at you Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.